So you've just completed creating your game and are ready to publish it. But wait, let's first add some ads to earn that sweet ad revenue. There are multiple ad providers for Unity games, but in this episode we'll focus on Unity monetization services that support both iOS and Android. I will show you how to easily set it up and add it to your project. Finally, you'll learn what the different ad placements are and the best use cases for them. Let's go! So this is our test scene. For now it only has a few buttons that will allow us to demo everything. But at the end of the video, I'll show you a more real-life example. To start working with Unity Ads, we need to enable them for our project. The best way to do it is to select Window at the very top and choose General Services. You'll see this New Services tab that usually opens on the right side of the Unity. Here we need to create a new Unity project ID. Select your organization and click Create. If you don't see that option, make sure you're logged in into Unity by clicking the Account button at the top and selecting Sign In. On the updated screen, let's select Ads and turn them on using this toggle. Select this option only if your app is targeted to children under age 13 and click Continue. As you can see, Ad Service is now turned on and Unity should install a new package called Advertisement. This will allow us to integrate ads into our game code. Please make sure it is installed. Click at the very top window, Package Manager, and check if you can see a tick mark next to the advertisement package. If not, install it. In the next step, we'll create the build target of our game. Because Unity ads are only supported on iOS and Android, we need to make sure that we're developing for the right platform. At the very top, select File, Build Settings. Here, instead of the PC, Mac and Linux option, select either iOS or Android and click Switch Platform. Switching platforms may take a while, especially if you haven't used the platform with your project before. You'll know that the process is ready when the Unity logo shows up next to the selected platform. Great! The last step will be to turn on ads on the web platform. In the Services tab in the Unity, click on the Go to Dashboard button. On the website that just appeared, select your project and you should be presented with the placement options. Here you can specify how, when and where your ads will be shown in your game. We can split that to three categories. Interstitial ads usually play between game levels without any reward to the player. By default, they are skippable after 5 seconds. Rewarded ads, the most profitable ads, are displayed if user clicks something like double your score after finished level. They are non-skippable and after successful play, we should somehow reward our player for watching it. And finally, the banners that are just displayed somewhere on the screen and they can be tapped by the player to learn more. As you can see, by default we have already two ad types set up. video and rewarded video. Because I'd like to show you all the ad placements in this video, I will quickly click Ad Placement button, name it Banner, select the Banner option and create it. That way we have all three ad types prepared. Remember those ad types IDs and the game IDs listed on the left. We'll need them in just a second. Ok, time to code in some ads into our game. Let's add a new script to the canvas or to the main camera called Ads Manager. Open it. Because we'll be using the advertisement package, at the very top of our file type using utengine.advertisements. Before showing any UT ads, we'll need to initialize the system. In the start method type advertisement.initialize and open parentheses. Here we need to pass in the game ID from the list in the ads dashboard. If you're targeting only for one platform, that's easy. Simply paste in your game ID here as a string. But if you're targeting both platforms, we need to use a small trick that would switch this ID depending on the platform we are running. At the top of our class, type hashtag if in capital Unity underscore iOS 
string game ID equals and here pasting correct string for iOS. Then press return and type hashtag else string game ID equals correct string for Android. And finally, hashtag and if. That bit of code will run depending on the current platform. For example, I've set the build target for iOS just a minute ago and everything under else is grayed out and won't be executed. The last step will be to replace that hard-coded string with the game ID variable. Great. Now save the script, go back to Unity, run the game and check for any console messages. If the console is empty, that's great, Unity ads are successfully connected. But if you're seeing errors like this, make sure that you're logged in and that you have entered the correct game IDs. Now let's create our first ad. We'll start with the interstitial one, which is being played without any interaction from the user. In our script, create a new method. Public void play ad open brackets. Just before showing the ad, we need to check if the video is ready. To do so, type if advertisement that is ready and passing the name of the ad, so in our case, just video, then open brackets, advertisement that show, and again passing the name of our ad. Actually, that's it. In Unity, just for demo purposes, we'll use this button to trigger method we've just created. Select it, drag in game object where ads manager is attached to to the on click event, and from the dropdown, select ads manager, play ad. Now, if we run the game, you can see that after we press the button, a new screen appears with the advertisement mockup. Of course, in your build game on the actual device, that ad will be replaced with the actual video. Ok, so now go back to the script and let's do the same with the rewarded ad. Type public void play rewarded ad, open brackets, if advertisement that is ready and pass in rewarded video this time. Open brackets, advertisement that show and pass in rewarded video. This time we'll also type else, open brackets, and here specify what should happen if the ad is not yet loaded up. I'll just type debug.log, rewarded ad is not ready. Remember that you can get source files for all my Unity tutorials by supporting me on Patreon, link in the description. This method will also show us an ad, but because this is a rewarded video, we'd like to get information on if the user actually have watched it to the end. To get that, we need to implement a set of built-in callback methods. Next to the class name and model behavior, type comma and then I Unity adds listener. Your code editor should immediately scream at you that there is something wrong. That's because we need to implement this interface. Just right click on it, select quick actions and click on the implement interface option. That should automatically create four methods for you. These methods will be called by Unity whenever some actions occur like add started playing. We'll be interested in on Unity ads that finished. This will be a method triggered whenever our ad is completed. Let's check what kind of ad just has been played and if it has been successful. Type if placement ID double equals rewarded video and show result double equals show result that finished. Open brackets and here specify what should happen if the rewarded ad has been finished. This is the place where you grant some extra coins, lives, etc. For demo purposes, I'll just type debug.log, player should be rewarded. That's it. Before going back to NT, we need to quickly fix those three other methods because currently they will throw an error. In ads ready, I'll type 
debug.log ads are ready. In ads did error, I'll type debug.log error plus message. And in ads did start, debug.log video started. Finally, in the start method, we need to tell Unity that here are all the callback methods. So type advertisement dot add listener and pass in this. That's it for reward dots. Let's test them out. As before, I'll need to hook up the second button by dragging in the canvas right here and selecting ads manager, play rewarded ad. Now play our game and run rewarded ad. As you can see, this time we don't have a skip button, so we can only close it. And by doing so, we'll simulate a successful debug log. Time for the last part, banner ads. In the script, once more create a new method. Public void show banner, open brackets, and as always, if advertisement that is ready, and passing banner, open brackets, then advertisement dot banner dot set position, and passing banner position dot bottom center, to make sure that it will be at the bottom middle, and finally advertisement dot banner dot show, and passing the placement ID, so just banner. Because we like to show our banner at the very start of the game. In the start method, run our show banner method. The problem with this approach is that while your game has some time to load the video for the other ads before playing them, the banner might not have enough time to load up and will simply fail this if statement. To fix that, we'll need to create a coroutine that will basically count up to one second and try again. Below show banner, type i enumerator repeat show banner. Open brackets. Firstly, we need to wait for one second. To do that, simply type yield return new wait for seconds and pass in the amount of seconds, in my case, just one. Then finally, after one second of waiting, trigger our show banner again. Remember that the curtains run independently from the main game loop, so it won't stop your game everything will be done in the background. Now, to run it, in the show banner we need to type else, so if the banner is not loaded up, open brackets, start coroutine, and pass in repeat show banner. That's almost everything for coding, the very last thing will be a method to hide the banner. Public void hide banner, open brackets, advertisement, that banner, that hide. Great! Now save everything, go back to Unity, and as always, assign both buttons. First one to show the banner, and the second one to hide it. Time to test out everything. Press play, and click on the first show add button. Works great! Then press rewarded add button, and this time also everything shows up, but without the option to skip the ad. After closing it, we get a message in the console. Finally, you can see that our banner is visible at the bottom and we can use this button to hide it. Everything works as expected. Now, at the very end, I'll show you how to integrate ads to existing project. So here I have a very simple game inspired by a dinosaur in Google Chrome. Here are my ideas for the ad placements. Banner ad will be visible all the time at the bottom. Simple ads will be displayed after each game over. And the rewarded ads will be displayed if the user clicks double score at the beginning of the gameplay. Here I have a script called Game Manager. It contains most of the game logic. Inside of it, I have already prepared some methods that will be useful in just a second. So now, how do we connect the Ads Manager script to our Game Manager so we can call all of the methods from it? We need to create a variable reference. At the top of this class, I'll type public Ads Manager Ads. 
and then in the Unity Inspector, link Ads Manager to the newly created field in the Game Manager, just like that. Now we can call all methods from our main script. For example, at the start I like to call a method that shows the banner. To do it, simply type adds.showBanner. Here I have a game over method and as the name suggests, it is triggered when the player fails. As I mentioned before, I'd like to run our play add method here, so just type adds.playAd. Finally, the most complicated one, the reward that. Here I have a method called doublescore that should play the reward that, and after successful completion, should run this other method called onRewardedAddSuccess. But how do we do it? By just typing ads that play rewarded ad, we won't achieve our goal because we won't know if the user has watched video or not. We need to modify our script a bit. Our play rewarded ad in the ads manager should get the action to run after success. So right here, specify a new input parameter. Type action on success. As you can see, action shows an error that's because at the very top of our script we need to type using system. Now let's create a new variable that will store that action. At the top of the ads manager class, type action on rewarded add success. And back to our method, type on rewarded add success equals on success. That way we basically create a variable that stores a whole method that should be triggered after a successful reward ad is being shown. So finally, here in the onUnityAddsDidFinish, in our if statement we've created before, type onRewardedAddSuccess.invoke to run a method trapped inside of this action variable. When we finally go to the game manager, in the double score method, simply type adds that play rewarded add as before, but this time, as you can see, Unity demands to put what should happen after add has been played. So simply in the parentheses, type in desired method, in this case, on rewarded add success. Whoa, that was a lot, but everything should be working now. So let's test it out. On the game start, you can immediately see that the bottom banner pops out. That's great. Let's start the game. And on the game over, the simple ad immediately starts playing. Now, after we close it, just before playing the next game, we can click on the double score option. That shows us an unskippable ad that after finish starts a new game with the score multiplier. So that's it. Thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about Unity Basics. See you soon.